Hello and welcome to the second lesson of our new series, English for Beginners. In today's lesson, we are going to address something very basic but extremely important. We are going to learn how to use is, am and are correctly. We'll also look at some conversations that will help us understand how we can use this in our daily life. Besides this, I'll also give you some pronunciation tips so that you sound natural while you speak in English. So let's get started. We use am with I. I am. And while speaking, I and am are spoken together and quickly. Um. This way you will sound more natural while speaking in English. Um. You can use I am to talk about yourself. For example... I am Neha. Am Neha. Notice I and am are spoken together. Am. Am Neha. I am from Delhi. I'm from Delhi. I am a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. I am a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a teacher. I'm an artist. Next. You can use I am to talk about your feelings. For example, I'm bored. I am bored. I'm bored. I am really excited about my new job. I'm really excited about my new job. I am sorry to hear this. I'm sorry to hear this. Notice if you use I and am together, you will sound more natural while speaking in English. I'm bored. I'm really excited about my new job. I'm sorry to hear this. Next is is. We use is with he, she, it or with someone's name. For example, Mike is my friend. Maya is my colleague. Or you can use is with a place. For example, Mumbai is, is a beautiful city. Now let's look at some more examples with is. Nimish is a singer. Ron is my brother. My father is an artist. Prague is a beautiful city. It is getting hotter in the afternoon these days. He is a great dancer. Notice in the first three sentences we used is with the name of a person. In the third sentence we used it with a relation. For example, my father is an artist, my mom is a teacher, my sister is a guitarist. In the fourth sentence, we used it with the name of a place, Prague. Prague is a beautiful city. Now let's look at R. We use R with you, we, they. You are, we are, they are. We can also use R with names of more than one person. For example, Ayan, Daniel and Natasha are colleagues or Ayan, Daniel and Natasha are throwing a party next week. Let's look at some more examples with are. We are from Jordan. We are from Jordan. So while speaking, we say we and are together and quickly. We are from Jordan. They are my colleagues. They are my colleagues. They are. They are, they are my colleagues. They are my colleagues. Meg and Ronit are best friends. So here we have used R with the name of more than one person, Meg and Ronit. You are late for the class. You are late for the class. So you and R can be put together and spoken together. You are late for the class. You are late for the class. You are. You are late for the class. Now let's see how we can use is, am and are in our everyday life. Listen to these conversations. Hello, I'm Anastasia. I'm from Egypt. My father is a musician and my mom is a teacher. I'm married and have two kids. My younger son is only nine months old. Hey, I'm home and I'm really hungry. What's there for dinner? You're early today. There is pasta for dinner tonight. This is Ron. He's an architect. He's from France. Ron's sister is a doctor. Both of them are very good writers too. Their blogs are very popular. You must read them. Now here is a quiz for you. 
Complete this conversation with is, am or are and write your answers in the comments below. So hope you found this video useful. If you wish to learn English with us, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you do not miss any of our latest videos. So that's all for now. See you again.